Silver's hidden in the thrift stores. I'll show you where to find it. Gotta look where others aren't looking. When you're looking at the belts, look for something old and nice. Look at the back of the buckle and look for the word sterling. Looky there. There is a sterling silver belt buckle. Probably pretty close to an ounce of silver here. Silver's going for about 25 bucks an ounce right now. The thrift store's asking about six bucks for the belt. We'll go around the store and I'll show you where to look and where you don't have to look. Thrift store workers aren't really looking at belt buckles. They're typically looking for silver in other areas. When you're looking at special dishes like this, you almost never find silver here. It's almost always silver plate. The store workers look here very carefully. So you gotta look where they're not looking. So where else do you look? Well, other than belt buckles, you can find it on high-end purses. Look at the metal rings, look for the word sterling. You're gonna find a lot of these big name purses are fake, but examine them closely. When you look at the jewelry, chances are you're not gonna find silver. You'll find it, but you won't find it here. Just look in the display case. You'll see, they already found it. Here's one for a hundred bucks, and this one won't go on sale. Here's another necklace for 174 bucks. So you gotta find the silver where they're not looking. Now, before you take this belt and just scrap it for silver, you wanna know what this belt will actually sell for. When I looked it up, wow, $2,300. Now that's if you buy the belt new. If you buy it used, it's like 800 bucks, 1200 bucks. Evidently, these Edward Bullen belts are pretty expensive. When I saw that the belt buckle was sterling silver, I knew it was at least worth six bucks. This belt may take a little restoration, not much. Let's go ahead and pull all the silver parts off and see how much they weigh. The total weight of the metal is a little under an ounce. Subtract out seven and a half percent of the weight, plus the six bucks I spent. That'd be about 18 bucks profit. Now, if you look at it as a belt, it's worth a lot more. So next time you're at the thrift store, look for silver where nobody else is looking for it. Look for tarnished old belt buckles. It's cool to find treasure in a thrift store, but better to store it up in heaven.